Welcome to Pick Your Poison, the choose your own death venture show. Today's poison, anthrax. This one can get a little bit gnarly, but it's for your own good, I promise. Anthrax comes from bacterium spores called Bacillus anthracis. And yes, it has been used as a chemical weapon, but it's not as James Bond as it sounds. Chances are you'll get it from gross animal skin or even grosser, animal meat. Bacillus anthracis spores stay dormant in soil for years and only pop back into action when animals graze on them. Once the spores are active, there are three ways that they can jump over to people. The first way is through a cut or abrasion on your skin, and the effects are pretty nasty. Blisters, ulcers, skin death but if they're treated properly, you probably won't die. Yay! The next way is gastrointestinal, which means you ate some anthrax-infested meat. Way to go, fatty. That means for dessert, you'll be having nausea, mouth sores, fever, stomach pain, and bloody diarrhea. Again, if treated, though, the chances of you dying are relatively low. The real killer is inhalation. Yes, you can breathe it in just from being around those active spores, which is how it was used by a bioterrorist back in 2001. It's also the reason why I get panic attacks in petting zoos. But if treated early enough, you have around a 20 to 55% chance of survival. Unfortunately, if it reaches second stage, there is a 90% chance that you've taken your last donkey ride, which is a petting zoo joke, not a reference to Let's just move on. Now for the gnarly part. It starts with flu-like symptoms, then the anthrax attacks your cells, resulting in hemorrhaging, swelling, and this awful jelly-like substance. Then your blood pressure drops, and you die. That does not sound fun. Still, it's your choice. If you had to be infected by a poison, would you pick anthrax, or would you like to see the full menu? Click here to see the pros and cons of choosing anthrax, or click here to learn more about other toxins. And as always, if you have a poison you want to hear about, ask me in the comments.